Hey y'all. <laughs> I click right away. Hey you guys. Hey Princess. Princess Brianna. Thank you. Y'all, I got to vent to y'all about some shit, okay? Live live in the flesh, period. A bitch been a little sick, so that's why I've been away. Um, I just want to vent to y'all about something real quick. Because right now I'm getting ready to go to another ball. Um, hey, babe, Fit Foodie. Hey, Fit Foodie. Miss Dickiana, period. Let me just vent to my Leah gang. I just need to vent to you guys. Um, I'm about to go to another ball. I was supposed to be going on a date. So right now I'm in the process of getting ready. Um, as y'all see from the title, I put DL men are faggots. Period. I said what the fuck I said. That's what I put DL men are faggots. Um, this is the second time within the past few months that I have ran into a DL man um, that claimed that he wanted to date me. And then later on, I found out that he's DL. He's down low. Um, so it was this dude I was talking to recently. Um, really cool, you know what I'm saying? Genuine vibes. We got along really well. Um, he really liked me a lot. I really liked him. Um, he was, he was trying, he, he was just like, oh, I'm done with the games. I'm done with these hoes. I'm looking for a wife. I'm looking for one woman in my life. You know, just feeding me all this bullshit. Saying, oh, I'm, I'm looking for a wifey. Um, <clears throat> I want to have kids in the future. Da, 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 da. I really like you. It's something about your vibe. You know, I fuck with you. You're real. You're genuine. You're beautiful. You know, just telling me all this shit. And I'm just eating it up. I'm sorry. I'm recovering from a cold. Um, so, yeah. When he came over originally, we just kicked it at my house. And we had, like, a really, like, romantic night. Like, it, he actually... Bitch, he ended up spending the night. Um, no shade. I know that's probably something I shouldn't have done. But anyway. Um, he ended up spending the night. And we spent, like, two days together. And... Things were really cool, but then he just started acting weird. Like, it was just like, I would text him. He would take days to respond. Like, you know, he would just start, he just started doing weird shit. And it's just like, this is why you can't be nice to a nigga. Because it's like, every time you be nice to a man, they always take advantage of your kindness, bitch. So you have to be a, you have to be a bitch to them, unfortunately. That's just, that's just how it goes. Um... Guys these days, I feel like they just don't like sweet girls because when you're when you're sweet to them, that's when, you know, they start with the fuck shit and then you have to be a bitch. You have to bring that bitch out of you and then they want to act right. So, and that's what I did. Like, I just started being a bitch. So, you started ignoring me, bitch. I started ignoring you back. So, anyway, we stopped talking for a minute. He come back around. So, he's just like, this is literally like two days ago. He was like, let's go out. I want to go out on a date or whatever. So, I was like, okay, cool. So, today is the day of my sister's ball. She's doing like a um a realness, banshee category or something like that. Um, But he wanted to go out on a date. So, I, I was about to miss my sister's ball for this nigga. Um, he wanted to take me out to the movie. So, we talked on the phone yesterday. Everything was cool. Bitch, I started getting ready... I text this nigga, and I'm just like, okay, what's up? You know, when are we going out? When are you coming over? This nigga talks about some... He talk about some... Um... Can I just come over and we order, we order something and watch a movie? Bitch, who the fuck are you playing with, bitch? You better play with your mama, hoe, because I'm not the fucking one. Talking about, can I just come over and we, we order we order something and watch a movie? Nigga, we just did that the last fucking time. And, and first of all, you're not even supposed to Netflix and chill on the first time meeting someone. I really let that shit slide. Um, trans girls, if you're watching this video, make sure they take you on a date initially. That's, uh, initially, that's how it was supposed to go. Um, it was supposed to be a date first. 
And then after that, once y'all start getting comfortable and cool, then you start Netflix and chilling. Um, and me personally, I like to go out on dates because I want to make sure that you treat me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm watching you, bitch. I'm watching how you treat me in public. I'm watching if you're going to be a bitch-ass nigga or if you're going to be proud, bitch, to have a bad bitch on your arm. Like, bitch, when I'm out in public, I'm watching. Bitch, I'm watching his every motherfucking move, every action, who he's looking at, what's going on, bitch. I'm investigating, bitch. Okay, that's, that's motherfucking CIA time, bitch. You got to investigate. You got to investigate these hoes. So, that's why dates are very important to me. Because I need to know how you're going to treat me when we're in public, bitch. I need to know. So, he's talking about some, let's just, let's just sit in the house and order some pizza. Bitch, I don't want to do that. First of all, we've already done that. Second of all, that shit that you do later on down in the relationship, not now. Like, it's way too fucking early. So, I was just like, hold on, y'all. I said, no, we can do that another time. Let's go out this one day and have fun. We both need to get out. He said, yeah, you're right, baby, but we can get out plenty of times. Right then and there, bitch, I, knew, I already knew what the fuck was up. I already called it out. I knew that this nigga was down low. I knew it. He didn't even, he didn't even have to say it. It's like the red flag, right. Um, see, the red flags were there. They literally want to give the bare minimum, but expect the most from us. Like, they want us to pull out all the stops. Yep, I watch too much, but I'm the crazy one. Getting that vibe check. I'm so tired of these n niggas. He playing games. Holo didn't have to eat us up with this look. Yeah, I'm about to go out. I haven't even got out. I haven't even got ready yet. And he don't even know, bitch. You finna have a bad bitch on your arm. I don't know what the fuck these niggas are so just insecure about. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, nigga, you dumb as hell. Like, you could have a whole bad bitch. You could have you could have went out on a date today with a whole bad bitch, but you acting like a pussy ass punk ass nigga. Like, I'm just so tired, you guys. This is literally what happened to me the last situation. If you've been keeping up my lives, um, I named him the boy. There was a there was a there, there was a nigga that was a trick. Um, we end up really liking each other. And then when it came to us going out on dates, that's when he just ghosted me. Like when I was, when I, when I started talking about, when I started trying to be serious and going to the next level and, oh, let's go out on dates. That's when that nigga just ghosted me. He didn't have shit to say. But when it came to coming to my house and kicking it and bitch him deep throating and getting fucked and all that, he had no problem with that then. So, I, here I am running into the same situation twice, bitch. It ain't even been damn near a month in 2021. And I'm just like, I'm just completely over it. Um, It just hurts. It's just like, bitch, how the, how the fuck you gonna make me your wife? You talking about making your wife. You talking about having kids. Y'all, we was talking about literally like finding a fish, um, being a sperm donor, like all that. When I tell y'all we was really having deep conversation... Just about the things that we wanted in the future. Like, we both want a house. Like, you know, we were just, just talking about building a future together. Bitch, you can't even... We can't even go on one motherfucking date. How are we going to get to that point? If How how, how am I going to be your wife, bitch? If we can't even go on a date? What the fuck? So, after that, y'all, like, I tried and I tried and I tried with this man. But this is really the straw that broke the fucking camel's back, bitch. I'm done. I'm done. I don't have shit to say to him. Bitch, I deleted his motherfucking number. I'm done. Because I'm just like, I'm not going to continue to tolerate the bullshit. And this brought me to this video that I wanted to make. I feel like DL men are faggots. I feel, personally, in my heart, I feel like when a man tells me I'm DL, it automatically, all I hear is just gay. All I, that's all I hear at this point is just, you're gay, okay. Because it's just like, I don't get it. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't get niggas. I, I don't get them. Um, especially the ones, oh, I don't, I, I don't like niggas. I don't, I don't like niggas. I only like, I only like the ones that look like girls. I only like trans. I can't, I can't do niggas. I can't, I can't date a nigga. Okay, but you don't treat trans girls like women. So, I'm not understanding. Like, that's the part that it, it really, bitch, it really behooves me, bitch. Like, I'm just like, you claim that 
you can't you can't date a man. You you don't like you don't like niggas. You don't like masculinity. You can only date a trans. You can only date somebody. You can only date them if they look like a girl if they're feminine. But then you don't want to take them out in public. You don't want to have serious relationships with them. I'm just like re really nigga. You're just fucking gay. And I'm tired of meeting gay ass niggas. Like literally, I'm just at a point, bitch. I'm, I mean, unless <clears throat> I would date a butch queen if he was open, if he didn't mind dating a trans girl, if he didn't care what other people said about him, I wouldn't mind dating a butch a butch queen. I'm open to dating butch queens. Um, hold on, y'all. Okay, yeah. All right, like I was saying, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind dating a butch queen. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not... Bitch, I'm pansexual. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care. I don't care about it. I don't... A butch queen is just a gay man. But the problem with these dudes are... They're gay. And they want to have their cake. And they want to eat it, too. And... I'm sorry you were hurt, lady. I tried to understand too much. My head hurts. And they are using trans as a beard. Exactly. Exactly, bitch. And now I'm starting to feel what the fish are feeling, bitch. Because this shit is fucking crazy. Um, How long did you talk to that boy? We were talking for a few months. Um, You giving some of these men so much credit. Some of these don't, don't even want to um, do the bare minimum. If I were lucky enough to date a woman as pretty as you, I'd take you out to be like, hey, everyone, look how pretty she is. Period. Exactly. But they're attracted to men, especially masculine gay. So, no. I just... You guys, I've gotten to the point where I'm just like, I don't get it. I don't know what these men want. Um, It's like, bitch, you, you, you break your neck to be fucking passable and to look like a girl. You know, they want you to act like a girl, talk like a girl. Walk like a girl, look like a girl, smell like a girl, bitch. Your skin got to be soft like a girl, bitch. You got to have titties. All these things only to be kept in the in the motherfucking room, bitch. Only to be kept a secret. It's like, what's the fucking point? Like, I'm really at the point where I'm just like, I'm just, I'm so over it, you guys. I'm so over it. I'm tired of me. Bitch, if you cannot be open and proud, proud to be on the motherfucking streets with me, bitch. Why the fuck are you hitting me up? If I would have known that he was... Y'all, I promise y'all. If I would have known that this nigga was DL from Jump, I would have never entertained it. I would have never entertained it, bitch. I would have never... Bitch, I would have never texted him back. I would have never called him. I would I would have never invited him over. None of that. If I would have known... If he would have just been real from fucking Jump... Bitches want to talk about being deceitful. People want to talk about some... Oh, well, I don't have a problem with trans, but they need to tell these niggas... They, they need to let these niggas know what they was born as. And trans people are deceitful. Bitch, you want to talk about deceitful, bitch? You want to talk about fucking de deceitful? Y'all are out here living whole ass motherfucking double lives, bitch. Y'all are out here... Y'all are out here... Getting fucked by a trans woman. Getting sucked by a trans woman. Sucking, sucking these trainees dicks and all this. Going back home to your girlfriends, to your wives, and living your straight motherfucking lives. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm over it. Y'all want to talk about being fucking deceitful, bitch? Trade or the, tr girl, DL trade. Those are the, those are the most deceitful bitches I've ever came across or met in my fucking life. Talk about deception, bitch. They're maybe bisexual and don't want to be seen as anything public other than cis straight. But if you're a bisexual and you're open to either male or female, then why the fuck does it matter if you're with a trans? I don't understand that. And when we, when we met, he told me that he... I think he said that he was bi-curious or something like that. So he, I think he said he identified as straight bi-curious. So I'm like, okay, cool. If you identify as straight, what the fuck is the problem? Bitch, that means that you don't see me as a woman, bitch. That's what the fuck that means. Let's just cut the motherfucking chase. Cut to the chase. Cut around the corners. Most of these niggas, they claim that they like trans. They claim that they only like women. No, the fuck you don't. No, you don't, bitch. You don't. You don't like women. You don't like women. Because if you did, there wouldn't be a problem with dating a transgender woman. 
there wouldn't be a problem with dating a transgender woman. If you like women like you say that you do, you motherfucking faggot, then you wouldn't have a problem dating a transgender woman out in public. Some of these men for real think that we transition for them. Never would I go through what I'm going through now for a man. I agree with Tammy and men were in my inbox, but meanwhile they were in mass for mass groups and straight for gay groups. They are chopped for real. Ooh. Not Chris agree. I I love feeling for myself, never for a man. Me being trans, I can't even touch a butch queen. Bitch, little do you know the trade that you meeting up with are butch queens. Little, 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 little do you know the trade the trade that you're meeting up with are butch queens. Cause bitch, after they leave your house, they're just gonna go go suck with it. They're just gonna suck a dick. They're just gonna go fuck with their homeboy. Literally, literally do you fucking know, bitch? It it doesn't matter. It literally it literally does not fucking matter. Um. Everybody's getting played, bitch. We're getting played. The fish are getting played. Bitch, every every everybody's getting played. Um Y'all, I'm just I'm just at a loss of fucking words right now. I really am just disappointed with just sometimes, bitch. I just wanna say, what's the point, bitch? What's the point? If you're gonna be seen as a nigga, I might as well snatch this motherfucking wig off hole. Like I'm just like at at this point, what is the point? If if you're just gonna constantly be treated like a man, you're just gonna be treated like a nigga all your life. What is the point? That's why I treat these niggas like bitches because that's what they are to me. I haven't met a, I haven't met a real man. I haven't met a man that I can be feminine around that I can just be comfortable and just let him take the lead. I haven't met a man like that. That's why I have to be the way that I am with these niggas and I have to be so hardcore and treat them like bitches because it's just like I can't be the bitch. You really transition to real life be a nigga in these streets, bitch. Like I'm just like it's just crazy. It's so crazy to me. It's just like I I can't I I haven't met a man where I can just Sit back and just be fish. Cause I'm I'm too busy having to be the nigga, having to carry on the nigga role. Because these men are not stepping the fuck up and doing what the fuck they're supposed to be doing. And it's the same, it's not it's, it's not even just for us, it's also with cisgender women too. They're also complaining about the same fucking thing. I have cis women comport um supporters that are coming to me saying, Oh Leah, it's not just y'all. It's also the cis, the cis woman out here going through this as well. It's just like, men are just not men these days in general. And it's just like, I'm just, when I tell y'all I'm just over it, bitch. I literally have a policy. I don't even talk to non-gay males in public. Only time I talk to non-gay males if they're my teacher or store worker. Girl, okay. I met one, but my baby passed always, and he was completely straight and understood my dysphoria. I can't wait to get my YouTube started. Trash is what I'm calling it, period, bitch. I'm just like... These men are fucking gay. They are gay. Like, it, it literally, bitch, it was literally a switch, bitch, that clicked in my motherfucking head today, where I'm just like, bitch, these men are gay. They don't want a woman. They don't they don't want a woman. It's easier for them to be laid up in your fucking bed. You know what I mean? It's e they have no problem when it comes to, oh, let's link with the Addy. Let me come over. They have they have no motherfucking problem with what's done in the dark. Where they can live out their, their little secret fag little fantasy of just seeing you as another boy in a wig that look like a girl, that look like a pretty girl. They have no, it has, there's no problem when it comes to that. But when it comes to real motherfucking life, bitch, out there in that world, oh, it's, it's, it's always an excuse. It's always, oh, I, I, I would, I would go out, I would take you out, but, uh. Bitch, are you serious? Like, you don't want fish. 
Because if you did, you wouldn't be secretly um fucking fucking and tricking, bitch, on the side. You don't you don't want a fish. You don't want a trans woman. What is it that you want? What 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 is it that you want at this point, bitch? You really want a fucking nigga. Let's just cut to the chase. Um, it's because they can't defend it to their friends. They're scared. They don't want fish. They obviously don't know what the fuck they want. So I don't know what the fuck they. I'm just. I'm at a point. I'm just like, why did you hit me up? Why? Why did these niggas constantly hit me? Why don't you go? Why don't you go hit up Tyrone, bitch? Why don't you go hit up Jamal? Why? Why are you hitting me up? Why? Bitch, I want to. Bitch, I want to be a fish. I want to live out my transition. I want to be with a real nigga. I want to be with a man that's not afraid of what people have to say. I want to. Bitch, I want to feel protected, bitch. Like, I'm just at a point where I'm just like, what? Are you not interested in openly gay men? I like, I like gay men. I have tried to talk to gay men before, but they told me, oh, you're cute, but I'm not into girls. Or, oh, you're cute, but you're, you're too girly for me. So it's just like, bitch, at this point, it's like, it, you're damned if you do, damned if you fucking don't. Literally, I have I have tried to date gay men, but mostly, bitch. Let's be let's just be real and be honest. Gay men want to be with other gay men. The same thing happened to my sister. She said that um, she was talking to this gay man. He said that he'd never dated a trans before, but he would try it. And she said that he he told her that he don't mind trying it, but he sees himself ultimately marrying a man. So it's just like. Bitch, who does a trans woman date? Who, like, who does a trans woman fucking date these days? Like, who? Who? Who do, who do you fucking date? You'll be on a train with Trey that goes nowhere. Okay. Bitch, okay. Because you're a beard to them and a fetish, sis. Exactly. Um, as a cisgender female, I think that they are truly gay, but like the fact that you are pretty and past, but inside they prefer a man. Girl, may, maybe. And I and there's been people, there's been lots of people, there's been lots of times I have heard where people are just like, oh, does it make a man gay if he dates a trans woman? Does it make a man gay if he likes a tranny, if he's attracted to I'm really sitting here and considering like, does it? Does it? Bitch, let, let's just be honest. Because if it did if a if a man genuinely saw you as a woman, he would have no problem. Dating you out in public, introducing you to his mama, his daddy, his auntie, his cousin, his homeboys, whoever, bitch. I'm really starting to question. Does it? Does it? Cause I used to, I used to take up for them. Oh no, they're still straight. They're still straight, bitch. D bitch, does it? Does it at this point? I, I really. Somebody help me understand, bitch. Cause I really, I really need to know. Does it? Does it? Because these niggas are not, they're not out here acting straight. So I don't understand. It doesn't matter if you're a bad bitch. It doesn't matter if you have body. Like I said before, you see some of the most beautiful, surged out trans women that are still single. That some of y'all watch. If you know, you know. There's, there's certain trans women in the community that are beautiful. They have all the body work. Still single. Still no nigga. Still no husband, bitch. It doesn't matter if you reach the peak and the pinnacle of your fucking transition, bitch. It does not matter. It 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 does not matter. Literally. I'm really starting to realize where it's just like, bitch, I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't I don't give a fuck anymore. And you know what's crazy? Also, one thing that I noticed. Niggas also claim, oh, if I if I fuck with a girl, she has to be passable. But honestly, y'all, in my most clockiest days where I didn't pass, that's when I really got the most niggas. Cause niggas already knew what the fuck it was. Honestly, I'm 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 really starting to, to question this whole this whole motherfucking situation. I'm really starting to question at this point. 
I don't know. I don't get men anymore. I've tried to understand. I've tried to date several niggas. It's all been the same results. Um, you look so pretty. Thank you. If he's dating, it's the pants for me. If he's dating you, knowing you're trans, but also knowing you're pre-op, they're there for the fantasy, then that's what makes them gay. It depends on if the man is being penetrated or not. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. So if, okay, if a man only wanted to fuck a transgender woman, but he still didn't want to take her out and be open, what makes him any different? What makes it any different whether he's on the top or the fucking bottom? What what makes it any different? I I will I will respect a real nigga that let's say I'm with a dude and I'm fucking him. But he takes me out in public. And he takes me out on dates and he's not down low. I will respect him way motherfucking more than I'll respect a nigga just because He's the one on top. Just because he's just because he's the one that does the fucking. I don't give a fuck about none of that. That that doesn't mean a motherfucking thing to me. What matters is how you're going to treat me. I don't give a fuck about a sexual position or if you're a top. What is a, being a top doesn't make a man a real man. If they're just gonna treat you like shit. Um, men will always disappoint you in some way because if he's being penetrated by you, that would make him that wouldn't make him masculine. Girl, at this point, y'all bitches are stuck in 1960. I don't give a fuck about a pre-op, post-op. I don't give a fuck about who's on top, who's on bottom. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I care about the way that he's going to treat me. Fuck all the extra. Trey going to be single for the rest of their life. Girl, okay. Raise your standards and open your... Hold on. Somebody said, I never heard Cherry say this. No shade. You never heard Cherry say what? Oop, my dysphoria. It's really hard to say, honestly. I think a lot of the stigma is that attached to dating trans women combined with the rapid homophobia in the black community. Masculine, masculinity has nothing to do with taking and giving. Exactly. So you're having problems with a man take you out or committing to you. Girl, I'm having problems with, re with meeting a real ass nigga. Okay? That's what I'm having problems with. Because, bitch, I've, I've done my part. I've done my part, bitch. She's almost... You know, my transition is in full effect, bitch. I've done my part. At this point, all I'm supposed to do is just sit back and just be fish. And this is why um, cis women have this same problem. Cis women have the same problem. They do, but it's not the same. It's, it's it's not it's not the same. A man isn't not dating you because of who you identify as or what you identify as or what you or what you were born as. It's not the same. Niggas they play games on both sides, but for different reasons. You don't have to you don't have to worry about those things because bitch you're a woman. You were, you were born a woman. You could have his kids. Um, he could take you around his family. So it's 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 not it's it's the same, but it's not at the same time. Um. No, because if he's a gay, if he's gay, then what am I? A man? They can identify how they want, but I'm all women, pre op, post op. I'm a, if a man identifies as gay and he's with me, he doesn't see me as a woman. That's what I feel like. Masculinity and dominance are intertwined, and to be penetrated makes a man look less dominant to others. It's dumb, but coming from a gay verse, I can see it. And it's fine to be penetrated makes a man look less dominant. Okay, but how would people know what's going on inside the bedroom any fucking way? 
That's my thing. When you're out in public, they see a man and a woman. They don't know what the fuck is going on behind closed doors. So, honestly, none of that fucking matters. It doesn't. A man can be penetrated, he can bottom, and he can still be a man and does does what the fuck he needs to do. So, I'm not really understanding where y'all coming, coming at with that. Um, I'm tired of these DL men who want to call us men. Let's talk about the men you're not. They want us to use us for our body, mind, and mental sanity. They want to keep us their secret. Oh, and let me tell you about something. Um, but certainly women don't meet a man's family for whatever reason. You're totally right. People don't know what's going on, but it's their insecurity. How does that part? Bitch, I want to meet a man that's not insecure. How does that per pertain to how they are perceived unless they're running? A lot of people have told me. A lot of people have said, oh... It's the man that you're picking. You need to pick better. You need to make wiser decisions. No, bitch. These niggas are coming to me. I'm not out there looking for them. They're coming to me. Asking me to be their girlfriend, bitch. Asking to date me. Asking to link with me. To come to my house. To be in my space, bitch. I'm not out here chasing niggas down. I'm not out here trying to get niggas numbers. Bitch, no, they're com they're coming to me. They're walking up to me when I'm uh, motherfucking out grocery shopping and minding my business. They're coming to me asking me, can I get your number? So I don't give a fuck about none of that. People talking about some, oh, you you need to pick, ch you need to choose better. How am I supposed to know? How how the fuck am I supposed to know? Like, don't see me as a woman, and then when I say I'm trans, all of a sudden you want pipe. Respectfully, Leah, you are kind of incorrect, kind of. There are black men who don't want to date black women because of who they are. It may not be the same degree as cis women, but it does happen. I'm not saying that it doesn't. How come every time... Bitch, if I'm talking about something trans-related... I feel like a, a cis woman don't have to be brought into it every fucking time. This is not about cis woman right now, okay? This is about trans woman. I'm talking about my experience as a trans woman. I'm not a cisgender woman. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen to them, but bitch, I'm using this moment in time on my platform to vent about what the fuck is going on in my life. I hate when people trying to fucking compare apples to oranges, bitch. Like, I'm just like, girl, let's not act like there is not a big difference between the dynamic of dating a cisgender woman and a trans woman. Let's not do that. Please, let's not motherfucking take it there, bitch. Let's not act like there is not a difference, okay? Let's not. Like, don't see me as a woman. They become jealous and envious when you're leveling up. I've met men that just can't accept they are broken and accept that they are at their lowest. Stay out of our business, period. We have our struggles and they have theirs. Exactly. I feel like... I feel like... I feel like there's just a difference. There's a difference. When it comes to when it when it when it comes to dating a trans woman, there's just a different dynamic because she was born male. Bitch, I'm just being fucking 100% honest. Men were grown up to socially date date cisgender women. So to sit here and say that there's not a fucking difference, you're a, you're a motherfucking lie. Now, do cisgender, do cisgender women and trans women have a problem with dating men? Yes, we do. We do both have problems with dating men, but it's for different reasons.
Um, you have the right to be selective if it doesn't fit what you're looking for. But why are some of the passable girls single though? A lot, a lot of the passable girls are single. Well, then it sounds like you know what you signed up for. Um, actually, I didn't. Actually, I, actually, I, I didn't. When I first transitioned, I thought that there would be someone for everyone. That was kind of like how I looked at the situation. I thought that there would be someone for everyone. And I thought that, okay, if I'm transitioning into a woman, there are men in the world that like women, right? So I didn't think that that would be that much of an issue, honestly. So I, 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 I really didn't know what I signed up for. A lot of attractive people are single. That is true. But what, the, what, I just want to ask you, what, what does that have to do with me coming on my motherfucking live and talking about what the fuck I just went through and talking about what I want to talk about and talk about my dating experiences on my motherfucking YouTube channel? This doesn't have to, this, it, it's not about um, people being attractive and all this shit. A lot of attractive people being single. I'm not talking, bitch, I'm talking about Leah right now. This, this is what I'm talking about. To my Leah gang on my motherfucking channel, bitch. Okay? Leah, make a big O. I, I am gonna make a, I am gonna make a big O. Cause that's the second time somebody told me to make one. So I think I'm gonna make one. You will you'll find somebody you may have to compromise or some terms. You will never find a perfect guy. And I'm not asking, I'm not asking for a perfect, y'all. No shade, y'all. If I can be honest and, and, spe and speak the motherfucking truth, y'all. This nigga rode a fucking scooter, bitch. He rode a scooter. Bitch, this nigga, this, this nigga rode a motherfucking moped, bitch. He rode a scooter, bitch. That's how much, that's how much I was willing to just, just lower my standards, not be a stuck up bitch, not date a nigga for money, not date a nigga because of what he has or how much clout he has or what materialistic values that he has. I was willing to date a person just for the just for them being them, just based on personality, based on compatibility, based on connection. I'm not one of these bitches out here that just give a fuck about, oh, my nigga have to have money. He have to have only be wearing Balenciaga and this and this and that. I'm not one of those type of bitches. I don't date for what a man has. I date for who he is. So if I'm lowering my standards and I'm still getting treated like shit, that it's it's not me. It's not me. And it's like it's it's I hate when people always try to make it try to paint it out to be like it's you or you're the one. Like bitch, no, I know that it's not me. It's not me because I don't I don't date for a materialistic value. He have to have a decent car for me. Growing at this point, I'm gonna be on the same shit. Cause what's the point? What's the point? Bitch, I feel like at this point, if I'm gonna get played, I might as well get played by a nigga with coin. I might as well get played by a nigga where I I get get some benefits out of it, bitch. I get I get to get some car rides around, bitch, or something. Not a moped, too, too, beep, beep. Okay, bitch. Let me see. So why do you think you're having this problem? Why is it always... It's the effort for me, okay? Why i rather cry in the bins, period. I hate when... Why is it always the woman that's being questioned or asked, like, <laughs> what is she not doing good enough? Or what do you what do you think you're what do you think you're doing wrong? What do you think you're what do you think you're missing? What do you think you're lacking? Bitch, nothing. Bitch, I'm not lacking a motherfucking thing. Maybe it's not me that have the problem, bitch. Bitch, I'm beautiful. I'm smart. Bitch, I'm fine as hell. I have personality. 
Girl, I'm loyal. I'm faithful. I'm kind, bitch. I can cook and do a little one too. Bitch, I can show a nigga a good time. Bitch, must I go on? There's a lot of there's a lot of good qualities that I have. Confidence is key, bitch. Period. Um, I just I don't. I don't get DL, man. Okay, must I go on? Bitch, I am the table, bitch. Men just don't want relationships. Exactly. Exactly. That's really what it... Women, you are not the problem. Okay, and I'm talking to all women on this on this motherfucker, bitch. Women, you are not the problem, bitch. It's not you. I mean, unless you really just crazy as hell. And bitch, I'm, I'm a little crazy, bitch. But a good a good kind. Okay, I'm, I'm a little crazy, but a good kind. Um, but women, you're you're not the problem. So don't sit there and blame yourself, bitch. A lot of these niggas just they don't know what the fuck they want. Um, it's the all you can eat buffet for them, bitch. And it's gonna be a all all you can eat buffet for me. A healthy amount of crazy is necessary. Period, bitch. Like I'm just I'm a little crazy. You can have a baby with him and he could still leave. Exactly. DL men are DL for Okay. Okay, let me let me let me clock you on this bitch. Because a lot of these women out here be like, oh, it's okay to be trans, right? But you need to be upfront and you need to tell these niggas that you're trans, right? So why can that same logic not apply? If I'm a trans woman, I wanna know if I'm if I'm dating a DL man or not. I feel like he owes me that. I feel like he should be up front from jump. These niggas are not telling you that they're down low up front. Because, bitch, they, 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 they want to link with you and they want to come see you and they want to come to your house. I feel like I feel like it still applies. Bitch, if I'm trans and I'm supposed to tell people my tea, I feel like a DL man should tell me his tea. I didn't know that this man was DL the whole time. Hence the why we were planning to go out on dates, bitch. I didn't I didn't know. He wasn't up front with me about it. I feel like it should apply on, on both sides. If trans women have to be up up and proud and open about who the fuck they are, DL men should do the fucking same. If I would have knew if I would have known that he was DL, I would have never entertained him from the start. So, yeah, DL men, they can be DL for a reason, but that don't mean that I want to fuck with him. And that don't mean that I have to. I should be given the choice. They like having options. If a trans girl don't want to talk to him or give him some, he'll just talk to the next girl or mess with a crossdresser. Exactly. And, bitch, I've seen a lot of men on Grindr that had on their profile, oh... Um, I only deal with trans and cross dressers. So at this point, it's just like, does it really, does it really make a fucking difference? Does it make a difference? Does it? Does it? Does it really make a difference? Does it make a difference? Do y'all know that niggas that y'all are fucking and bringing into your bedroom are fucking cross dressers, bitch? Do y'all know that? Do y'all know? Do y'all know that the niggas that that you're fucking? That you're sucking, bitch, that you're bringing into your bedroom are fucking cross-dressers. Do y'all know that? You're so right. You shouldn't have to settle at all. Men in my area are also a waste of time. Maybe it's the area you're in, no shade. Bitch, I'm in the dirty motherfucking Atlanta, bitch. The dirty South. And you... Dating in Atlanta is horrible. Bitch, like... I know people say that dating is horrible everywhere. But dating in Atlanta is a whole different level of trash. I never thought that there would be different levels of trash, bitch. But dating in Atlanta, there is a whole different level of just trash. The people here are just, bitch, they're just demonic, bitch. I don't know. There's something wrong with these hoes. Deal men are only good for coin. Exactly. And I've, I've met men... That try to get upset with me because I wanted a coin out of them. 
And that was just like, oh, well, all y'all trans girls do is, all y'all want to do is just fucking trick and get, and get money off niggas. Why don't you get your own money? Why don't you get a job? Okay, so why the fuck are you in my, why are you in my inbox? Why don't you just go fuck fish? Why don't you just go fuck your brother, bitch? I don't feel like I should have to... I feel like... Bitch, honestly, if I wanted to transition and not fuck with niggas at all or go lesbian, bitch, I could. It's not an obligation. I don't have to fuck with niggas if I don't want to. I don't have to give up my body to you, bitch. Bitch, I could be trans and I could be celibate, bitch. I don't owe you. I don't owe you shit. I don't owe you a motherfucking thing, bitch. You're not trying to date me openly in public. So what the fuck else is there to get out of you but money? Nothing wrong with cross-dressers. You're right. Never said that there wasn't. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking the motherfucking truth. That niggas out here fucking... Most niggas out here, if they're open to trans, bitch, they might fuck a cross-dresser as well. But the problem... What the problem that lies is... The cross-dressers identify as a man, still. So it's just like, trans women, I was talking to my friend about this the other day. Trans women have more pressure put on them. But when they go to a cross-dresser house, <coughs> they can go to the cross-dresser house. She could be, bitch, he could be sounding like a dude, have five o'clock shadow on their face, all that. And there's nothing wrong with it. But when you're a trans woman, you're put up to this standard that's just fucking ridiculous. You're you're put up you're put up to these high standards and expectations. Oh well, you need to walk like a girl, talk like a girl, have smooth skin, and then to be not a bit of stubble on your face. You need to have titties, you need to have this, you need to have that. That's that's the part that I'm talking about where it's just like it's not fair. It's not fair if they'll just go fuck somebody that just throws on a wig and identifies as a man. One is living that life and one is partying that life. Cross Chester, for example, is We Love Shay. That's how I feel. I'm just like, what's the difference if trans women don't get any extra benefits off of it? Are you getting what the fuck I'm saying, bitch? What is the difference if that trans woman is going to get treated like that cross dresser? I might as well just slap on my wig and show up with shadow out, bitch. At this at this point, like it's just like what what is the part or what am I getting that that person isn't getting? What 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 am I getting out the deal that's just so different from this cross dresser? Like I'm just on such another level. Like bitch, what what am I getting out the deal? Nothing. You're expected to be cis. You're expected to have these these standards and this look of being cis, but you're not getting anything out the deal. You're not getting you're not getting anything special or spectacular for it. Bitch but a nut. But that's something that they can give to anyone. You can give a nut to a cross dresser, you can give a nut to a boy. It doesn't matter. Processes are worse than trade. Leah joining the nuns. Girl, okay, at this point. Um, I subscribe to your channel because I absolutely love your stories and you're beautiful. As a biological woman, I, I absolutely love the trans girls. Thank you, Miss Nikki. I'm tired of conventionally attractive cis women complaining about their dating pool. You can choose literally anyone else. Exactly. It is way easier for a cis woman to date. Especially if she's fine as hell. Let's just be honest. It's like, bitch. Let's say... Let's say that 
bitch, we're, I'm going to the NBA, bitch. Let's say I'm going to the NBA and I'm going to find me a baller. Now, let's say that there's also some fine-ass cisgender woman. You know, we're all together, bitch. Let's say that I get chosen. Let's say the decision a woman gets chosen. Bitch, when he find out my T, it's over for me. I'm already disqualified from the game. That sister a woman, bitch, she may have a chance. Even if she's just a beard or a cover-up. Or even if he just, you know, have her as the wife and give her a few kids. Bitch, she's still gonna get chosen. So it's just not, it's not, it's not the same dynamic. I'm an attractive cis woman and I still have problems finding a good man. Okay. Okay. Bitch, I'm going to take that into account. I'm going to take that into account. Let me stop talking about what the fuck I don't know. Because I'm I'm not a sister and a woman. So maybe maybe there are a sister and a woman out there that do have a really hard time dating. So, you know, it is what it is. Bitch, we all have a problem dating. Fuck it. Good men are hard to find, period. It's the men that you're dating. Okay, but sis, I ha one I hate, bitch. I despise, bitch. When people say, oh, it's the men that you're dating. You need to make better choices. You need to make better decisions. Most of the time when you're dating these niggas, you don't find out that they're full of shit till later. You don't find out that they're a narcissist till later. You don't find out that they're an abuser, that they're a cheater, till later. It's not like these things, bitch, are just written on their fucking forehead from jump. You don't know these things. So if they're presenting their best selves to you, if they're presenting that they're just all that in a bag of chips, bitch, and they're, they're just the best man on the motherfucking planet for you, and that they're, you, that they're your future husband and all this shit, how else are you supposed to know that they're full of shit, that they're a fuck nigga? You don't find out these things till later on. So I don't agree that it's the men that we're choosing. We all have a hard time, I think. But as as a trans to the mix, things get extra hard. Absolutely. My sister my sister and her sister struggle to find good men too. Since men of all religions, colors, and classes, walks of life are trash. Exactly. There is definitely a difference between trans women and cross dressers. There's other, one gender is a woman. I mean, we know we know these things. We we know these things, Lizzie. We we know that there is a difference. But to them, for some of them, it is it isn't a difference. That's just the reality of it. I mean, you can you can give out the definitions, bitch. You can give out the statistics. You can give out the online motherfucker, what, what you see online when you look up cross or what you see online when you look up trans woman. We know that there's a difference, but in real life, to these niggas, there's not. If a trans woman is just going to get treated like a man, what? Let's just be real about the situation. Let's, please, can, some, can somebody just be fucking real for once? Let's just be real about the situation. Men keeping each other in check, locking them in their own mental prisons. Exactly. And let me tell y'all about something. Men are very calculated. Like they know how to play a woman like a book. They sure motherfucking are be cherry. You are right. These men are getting smart, bitch, and they know how to play women. We need to learn how to play them. Social media has made it hard to find commitment because everybody is so easy and accessible now. I agree. I agree. Yeah, especially if there's, bitch, there's Tinder. There's POF. There's Instagram, bitch. There's Jack. There's Christian Mingle, bitch. There's all these motherfucking. It dating is hard for everybody because people are so people are becoming so accessible that it's it's really hard to find something genuine and real. It it really it really is. Um, if a man really wants you, he will be with you, trans or not. You might be the only trans he ever fell for. You're right, bitch. You're right. You're right. Um, Miss Stacy on. You're right.
I'm just stay at home and enjoy my femininity by myself. Period. Bitch, period. Because I have my own dick. And I can get it done myself, bitch, if I need to at this point. Or if I need to just call up a nigga, I can. And same for cisgender woman, bitch. There's toys out there, okay? Girl, if you need to do a little pussy play or get yourself off. At this point, it's just it's just about enjoying our own femininity. And maybe maybe I should... Maybe I should stop separating trans women and cisgender women. I don't know. I still feel like there are huge differences, but I guess it can't apply for both. That if a man is going to choose you, a man is going to do what the fuck he wants to do anyway, regardless. Regardless if you're cisgender or trans or not, bitch. If he's going to choose you, then he's going to choose you. If he's not, then he's not. I recently been talking to trans men. Bitch, I have no luck with trans men at all. They don't talk to me. I've tried to talk to trans men before. Um, <coughs> bitch, actually, on Grinder, you'd be surprised at the amount of trans men that are gay. That like men. Like I've I've seen a I've I've seen a few trans men profile and they just say, Oh, I'm only into mass. Mass for mass. If you're not masculine, don't message me. So, most of them hoes, I just... I really don't fuck with trans men at all, honestly. I haven't found one that was my type, that I entertained. Um, men who are overly confident have nothing to lose. Also, men that are overly sexual when you barely know them. I was the first referring to... Okay. Leah, oh my God, I would rather be with a black LGBT member with coins to get me by than non-gay black men with coin on Jay-Z level because non-gay black males literally have no freedom to do whatever. I agree. I absolutely agree. But you guys, sometimes it just feels like... It's like you're stuck in this... Like... I can't speak for all trans women, so I'm going to just speak for myself. But it's just like, I want to be a wife. I want to be a girlfriend. I want to just have one nigga to settle down with, to, you know what I'm saying, build a future with, get a, get a home, bitch, you know, make big girl moves, okay, be a grown woman. I want that life, but it's like, when it's not available to you, or you don't have that option, you like, fuck it. Well, I'll just be a hoe in these streets. I'll just be about, I'll just get money, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just hustle these niggas out of money, I'll just, you know live that life of just a girl that's just independent that's just fab that just do what she want to do but it's like it's secretly in your in your in your heart it's not what you really desire or want but it's like men just leave you with no option so it's like you have to be you have to be this way you it's like you you have to be a fucking savage literally men men leave you with no motherfucking choice but to say okay fuck it I'd just be a savage. And just trick off these niggas. I love your content, but I think all women should get a man with money. At the at, at least if he's trash, you get something out the deal. Girl, at this point. Because I've 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 tried, bitch. I've tried, I've tried fucking with niggas that worked at grocery stores, bitch, that worked at Publix, Kroger's bitch. I remember I told y'all about that one date I went on. Y'all, my date, my, we went to, where the fuck we go to? Wendy's, bitch. Wendy's or Checkers. My meal came up to $6. I ordered, I ordered some fries and a milkshake, bitch. And he's still, this, y'all know this nigga had the nerves to look at me. Like, bitch, are, are you finna pull out your motherfucking wallet and pay? I was so embarrassed. Like, I was just like, I can't, what is, what is the point of lowering yourself to date a Dusty if, if, if he's going to treat you like trash and you're not going to get anything out the fucking deal? I've tried to be the girl that didn't date for materialistic value. I've tried, I've tried to be that girl. But I'm just at the point where I'm just like, I'm done, bitch. If he don't have money, bitch, we don't have nothing to talk about. I, bitch, I tried. I 
I try. I try. I, I used to be that girl. I used to be that girl that just, oh, well, he don't have to have money. I just want to go. I just want to go out on dates to the park, bitch. Like just, you know, I just want to be in love and, bitch, fuck all that. Okay, like, girl, that just that gets you nowhere. It really, I'm really starting to learn the game and learn that it it, it really gets you nowhere, and that sometimes you you might have to be that bitch that just, <clears throat> where's my coin? Do you have money? Can you build me a home, bitch? Can you fix my credit? Like, girl, can we... Can you finance me a car? Like, at this point, I'm just like, fuck it. Bitch, at this... I would be better off getting in a transactional exchange type of relationship with a boy that's just at least decent looking, bitch, and call it a fucking day. You get more benefits if you're a savage. You don't have to be his therapist. Taking it all has negative energy. Get the head, get bread, then leave. Period. Period, bitch. And I'm really starting to realize that cisgender and trans trans women, we are all we are all playing the same game. We are we are all playing the same. We are all playing the same game. We are all we are all playing the same game, and I've I've watched a few videos about dusties and dating up and hypergamy and all that type of bullshit. So, girl, at this point, it is what it is, bitch. The game is on. The game the game is fucking on because I'm just like I'm 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 tired. I'm, bitch. I don't have time for the childish ass games no more. I need to see what time this ball start. I don't I don't have time for the childish games anymore. Because my my standards and expectations were so low and things that I wanted from guys, I just bitch, I just wanted to go to the movies today. That's it. That's all. I just bitch, I just I just wanted to go to the movies today. And we were gonna go walk around in a park downtown. Bitch, that's that's all I wanted. So I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear nobody calling me a gold digger. I don't want to hear in the future. I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing. I don't want to hear it. Six, bitch, six, six dollar motherfucking dates, bitch. I can't even get, girl, fuck all that. I'm done. Fuck all that kitty shit. Fuck just, oh, I'm just, I'm just dating a boy for just love and fuck that. For some reason, you give me Naomi Campbell tees. Yes, I live for that. Bitch, it's better to find me. Bitch, at this point, I will find me a rich white nigga that just adores black trans woman, girl, and just call it a day. Girl, get treated like a motherfucking princess, bitch, in a castle. Okay, bitch, that girl, that kindergarten, third grade love, bitch, that's done. I've tried. I really came to the conclusion. I would say, I mostly date black men, so I'm a, I'm speaking for black men. Black men don't want to be loved. They don't. Black black men do not want to be loved. It's like with this with this one man that I'm dating in particular, and with the last the last nigga that I dated. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. The last man that I dated, um, this was about two months ago. I dated this nigga. He told me a month, damn near a month later, that he had two kids. I was just like, bitch, are you fucking serious, bitch? You waited to tell me that you have two motherfucking kids. And he told me that his baby mama, bitch, is one of those fish girls that's just evil. And I'm just like, no, ma'am. I'm not dealing with it. No, baby mama. Leah's not going to be a stepmama. Like, girl, no. Absolutely fucking not. You waited. And then, <clears throat> and then, y'all, this man got mad at me. He got mad at me and called me. He was basically calling me a shallow ass bitch saying, oh, oh, so now you don't want to date me because I have kids? No, bitch, you should have you said that from the fucking jump. 
the fuck? I'm just like, I'm just, I'm, I'm done. I'm done trying to help men out with their mental issues, bitch. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a healer. Girl, none of that. I'm not, I'm the, bitch. Women, okay, all women, trans women, cisgender women, bitch, you will fuck around and drown trying to save another nigga. You, bitch, you, you will fuck around and drown trying to, trying to focus on, trying to focus on saving a man. Girl, fuck that. Absolutely, absolutely fucking not. Girl, if he got kids and that's just drama waiting to happen, no thank you, girl. And who's to say that? Who's to say that she won't be one of those fish that don't like trans women? Girl, I'm not dealing with it. Absolutely fucking not. Okay, for one, I I never said that dating. I never said that non-black people dating non-black people was any better, bitch. That's why, I, bitch, reading and listening is fundamental. I said that I personally date black people. I date black people, so I'm speaking from my experience of my dating pool. I never said that it. I bitch. I know that everybody can be full of shit. I'm just speaking on my experience of me, of men of color that I date. Bitch, I ain't picking kids up from basketball practice, bitch, for shit. Bitch, I'm too much of a bad bitch. Like, I don't have time for that. Bitch, the only time I'm being a soccer mom, bitch, and, and picking kids up from basketball practice is if they my motherfucking kids. That's it. Um, girl, okay, we're not even gonna entertain that. But yeah, this is just another episode of Niggas Ain't Shit. Niggas are fucking trash. Um, it don't matter. You could have, you could just have the best. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, when me and this nigga, the one that I didn't go out on a date with today, when we were together, bitch, bitch, it, bitch, it felt like motherfucking Titanic, ho. Like, bitch, when we were together, our chemistry was just out of this world. It was amazing. Like, I, I didn't think that... I thought it was strong enough for, you know, him to overlook him being down low or for us to actually have a chance. But I'm just like, bitch, at this point, the mental issues with this trade, exactly. I thought that, oh, we have a connection. We have a bond. He really, really likes me. I thought that that would make a fucking difference. It didn't. Did you ever try white man? That's the real tea I want to know. I mean, I could try a, a white man, but... I mean, I don't know why people have this perception that just going to the other side, that things would just always be so much better. I might, I might find a white man that just might play on my time. That might be full of shit. So I don't, I feel like all men are capable of, you know, being trash, but I can try. You should be doing this on Big O right now, getting paid. How do you, okay, somebody hit my DM and showed me how to do the whole Big O thing. Show me how to set it up, what I need to do, because I think I might just pop on Big I might. I think I might pop on Big O. And get me some coin. Because everybody else out there doing it, bitch. I might as well pop on and get me some coin, too. Let me pop on Big O. Stir up some motherfucking tea. Download the app. Okay. I had I had the app downloaded. I just didn't know how to work it. I'm still trying to learn about the roses and dragons and all this shit. I don't, I don't know. What's on StreamYard? And give your followers your big old name. Okay. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a whole nother live. They're gonna get off top. Okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a whole nother live coming on here telling y'all like I made a big old and all that shit. But Y'all, 
I can't do it no more. The gays and trans do good on there. Okay. I already know there's going to be some shady ass hoes. So, girl, I'm just getting prepared and ready for a bitch that I have to read out of this world. Because, bitch, you know I'm good for it. You know I will read a bitch. I read a bitch so classy and cute. Like, girl, that hoe wouldn't even know she just got read. It is messy. Oh, girl, I already know. I've seen little clips, bitch, on YouTube. I already know. I already know that it's messy. I already know what the fuck I'm walking into. Girl. Y'all like my nails? I get my nails done. This time I went to somewhere different. Girl, but if I'm getting paid, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Br bitch, bring me the money. Show me the money, bitch. At this point, fuck it. Fuck everything else. Show me the money. Thank you. And I fuck with all my, all my land gang supporters. I fuck with all my supporters, bitch. It don't matter if you cis, you trans, anybody, bitch. I fuck with any anybody that's riding for me, bitch. I fuck with you hoes. Um... And I, shout out, shout out to the sister and the women also that support the trans community. Shout out to them. You should get on there tonight, bitch. I just, I don't know. Let me see what time this ball is. I don't. Now, y'all, I'm contemplating if I want to go to this ball or not. For one, it's forty dollars to get in, <laughs> bitch. I know the y'all know these balls be carrying, bitch. It's forty dollars to get in. Do I want to pay forty dollars to be around a bunch of messy ass drama drama queen catty shady ass bitches? Like, do do I really want to just loud faggot ass hoes? Like, do I want to pay? Do I want to pay this coin to be around these people? Girl, I'm really like I don't know. The ball can't be some content, but y'all, it's it's always something, literally. It is no shit. This is a whole nother live I'm finna talk about, but girl, some girl. Some days, y'all, even though I'm a part of LGBT, I really don't like gay stuff sometimes because it's just too much. Forty forty I had to pay forty dollars for this bullshit. Do they give you food and liquor? Yeah, they do. Go and go live for your fans. Why don't you have it where we can send money to support your channel? I don't know. How can you? No. Can you guys? Okay. So, I want to get my titties done. So, I was thinking about setting up a GoFundMe or something like that. Or something where my followers can donate. Bitch, even if it's just $5, $10, bitch. I'm trying to go get my titties done. I know it's only about $3,500, girl. I have almost, like, half of it saved. Like, I'm just like, bitch. Girl, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go get these titties. So I think I'm, I need to set up something to where my followers can donate to me. Because everybody else out here getting it, bitch. I might as well do it too. And I'm going to vlog the whole thing. I'm going to have my bitch, like, you know, record it. Like, record me, like, on the... I don't know if they can record me, like, actually on the table. But, you know, let's go into Miami and all that. So, girl, I cannot get medic. Girl, I can't get Medicaid. I don't have kids. I don't have a disability. Bitch, they will not let me get it. I've tried multiple times. They won't let me get Medicaid. I do need... My um cash app is... Hold on. My Instagram is Lee Batty. L-E-E-B-A-D-I. -D -D, two Ds, one I. Lee Batty. And Patreon. I need to... So, would y'all be interested in a Patreon? At this point, I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck... Where, where am I going to go with this shit? Because I'm, I'm making these videos. I'm getting the views. So, I'm just like, obviously, people want to know more about my life. People are interested about my story. So, I'm just like, where, where do I go from this point? Like, bitch, I don't know.
I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I don't. I think Big O is gonna be my next step. I think it's. I think Big O is gonna be my next step because I'm really trying to just take my shit to the next level. Act crazy in Discord and get the mad coin. Period. Okay. It's period. Nowhere to go but but up from here. Exactly. You so gorgeous today. As always, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you, um, OG Quentin. It sucks. To, it sucks to it. It fucking sucks to transition into a woman and not get treated like one. I will say that that's the part that that's the part that really fucking hurts. It sucks to transition into a woman and you don't even get treated like a woman. Like that is the part that really just like. Wow, it really gags me. Um, don't you got to pay money to get to get on Big O? I don't know. Big O's free. Okay. Bitch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop on Big O. But yeah, y'all, fuck that nigga. Talk to my son. Oh, can we just stay inside and and order some food? No, bitch. Absolutely fucking not. And the girl, trans women, women in general, you need to have more standards. And tell these things what the fuck it is and what it ain't. No, bitch, we cannot sit inside and fucking Netflix and chill. No. We've already done that once, bitch. We're not doing it again. Girl, I, it's no shade to you. I get so many men that's just like, oh, if I had the chance with you, I would do you right, da 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 da, all this bullshit. I feel like men like the ideal of you. They like the ideal of you. But when it comes to them actually getting the chance and doing the right thing, they don't want to. So that's why I don't, I don't give a fucking... I'm really going by actions, speak louder than words. That's really finna be like my shit that I'm really finna go by. Actions speak louder than words. I don't give a fuck no more about what dudes are what dudes are saying or talking about. What the fuck are we doing? Like men are good for that. They love all all niggas do to me is just talk. Oh baby girl, you so fine. Da -da -da -da. I will make you my wife. I'll make you my woman. I'll make you my girlfriend, bitch. Where's my ring? Where where the fuck is that? Bitch, unless I'm blind, ho. Where's my motherfucking ring, bitch? Nowhere to be found. So I'm just like, oh, I... This all niggas just do to me all day. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the fucking talking. Um, Your content and how often you go live is how you get paid. On Big Go? Okay. Guys will tell you anything to get some sex. Don't believe nothing. They say until spinning the coin. Girl... I know that. I dealt with enough niggas to know. I hear that a lot. Talk. Yeah, I'm I'm over the talking, bitch. Bitch, we're grown, bitch. I'm over, I'm over the talking. We can talk all day. We can talk. We can talk all day, bitch. But I'm just I'm just over it, bitch. I have nothing left to say, girl. I just. I meet all these men. Girl, some nigga hit me up on Snapchat last night that I had fucked like a few weeks ago. He's like, oh, well, I really, I really fuck with your vibe. You cool as fuck. You real. You're beautiful. Da, da, da. All these things, bitch. And I'm still not your girlfriend. Okay. Thank you. I guess that's all, that's all I could say. Thanks, bitch. Like, that's literally, I just, thank, thank you. You're cool, too. That's literally all I said, bitch. Because I'm just like, what, girl, what is the point? What is the point? Don't you got to pay for gifts out of pocket to give them to people? Girl, now now OG Quentin wanna um retract messages and shit. Talk about he not like all these other niggas. 
that's I don't even have to do nothing. Cause literally these lame ass niggas do all the work for themselves, bitch. I don't even have to do nothing to show me that you a lame ass nigga. Cause you already you already doing fuck shit. You already showing fuck nigga behavior, bitch. The first line I see, oh, I'm not like these other niggas, but you retracting statements, bitch. You retracting comments. Girl, bye. Please just go on with your life, honey. Stop watching me. Bitch, I have a, it's, I have a no bullshit motherfucking tolerance, bitch. I'm done. Bitch, I am, bitch, when I tell you, no bitch ass niggas, none. I don't. I. I do not want to be with a bitch ass man. I don't. I'm gonna let. I'm letting people. Bitch, next time, if there is a next time. Um. Can you live in your truth? Do you care about what people have to say about you? Do you care? Are you Are you scared of what your your friends are gonna say? Are you are you scared of what your mama is gonna say, or what your uncle or what your daddy is gonna say? Are you are you a grown ass man that can make his own decisions? Bitch, I'm I'm gonna start interviewing these hoes. No bitch ass niggas allowed. Absolutely not. How the fuck? How the fuck? How the fuck is a trans woman gonna be more of a real nigga than a nigga? What? Get the fuck out of here. Come on now. Girl, I have the courage each and every day to walk out walk out the house looking like a bad bitch. And I have mail on my birth certificate, bitch. Are you are you kidding me? And you're not even you're not even stepping with half the motherfucking confidence and courage that I have. Girl, at this point I might as well go get go get me a bitch. I might as well go get me a bitch at this point. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, um, you did not, you did not, um, survive this interview process. There's the door. Go ahead, X the stage left, bitch. We'll date a bitch at this point. The D be so good, I can't leave trade alone. Girl, that's why you just get you one tray that has some good D. And wear that D out until you're done with him. That's all it takes, really. I have a tray. I have a tray when I want to call up when I want some D. I have a tray to call up when I want some cake. Or I have a tray to call up when I want both. So, it is what it is. Get you about two or three good trays to rotate and keep it pushing. You turn him down and reject him publicly on live. Girl, fuck him. Nobody knows who he was. It's not like the nigga had a profile picture anyway. Oh, bitches, bitches are retracting messages tonight. Oh, people are scared. I see y'all. Bitch, y'all not ready for me, bitch. Y'all some scaredy cats. Bitches are retracting messages. Oh, I see people. I see people are scared, bitch. Come on, play. Y'all some scaredy cats. Cause bitch, I'm a real freak, and I love to talk shit. Nah, y'all not say what y'all want to say, right? Exactly. Talk your shit, bitch. Say what you want to say. Let's see what time. What time? What time does the ball start? I'm glad other people also have a rotation. Oh, bitch, yes, I definitely have a rotation. I definitely have a rotation going, bitch. Definitely have a rotation process. Thank you, Taylor. But y'all, I'm just. What is the point? What is the point? And dating DL closeted men if you're only gonna get but so far with them. Because they're 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 really just bitch ass niggas.
what 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 is the point and it's like it's that i don't want the problem is men are just looking at you as a trans woman bitch that is not all that i am i'm i'm not just a trans that's a label bitch but i'm me i me. I want. I want to date. A, I want to date a man that looks at me as me. I'm not just. I'm not just a trans woman. I'm not just. That's just a label that's put upon me. I want to date a nigga because he really likes me. Bitch, no matter what people call me, a nigga, a bitch, a male, a female, whatever. I want to be with a man that just. He really likes. He fucks with me. Like he just likes me for me, my personality. It serves no purpose in dating a DL man. Right. And I just feel like... Bitch is crazy. One of my favorite YouTubers that I watch Raven over. She said, once you put that trans label on you... All people here automatically is man. And she is so motherfucking right, bitch. She is so... Bitch, she is so motherfucking right. Let me tell you about this incident... There was two incidents that happened to me. One of them, when I was at um, CVS, when I was at CVS, um, it was a, it was a security guard, and he looked like he was about twenty and twenty one, like you know he was a young nigga, and he just kept staring at me, kept staring at me. He was like a young black boy or whatever. He was cute. He was skinny, dark skin. He had dreads. Um stacked on top of his head like a damn pineapple bitch. He was he was a cute little dark skinned boy. I'm not gonna lie. So he just kept looking at me, kept looking at me, right? So bitch, I'm just I'm looking back at him like the fuck, bitch. If you staring at me, I'ma stare at you, ho. I'm that type of person, bitch. What what's up? Like what's what's he? So um <laughs> he kept staring at me, right? So he purposely goes outside the CVS. When I was in line, when I was about to check out my items, he just walks outside. I already knew what time it was. Bitch, if you bitch, if you're a trans girl, you know what time it is, bitch. So he he go ahead and step outside, act like he doing something outside. So that was my cue, bitch. When when your ass get out there, you already know what the fuck going down. So I paid for my shit. I walked out. Um he's standing right there. Bitch, no soon as I walk out, his ass look at me like. And I look at him back like. I said, so what's up? Like, bitch, I was a bold bitch that night. I said, so what's up? I said, you got a girlfriend? He was like, nah, nah. But uh, can I get your number though? Bitch, I already knew it was coming, bitch. So I just, I just walked my cute ass on over there. Bitch. First thing I said. You, you, you know I'm trans, right? Bitch. When I tell y'all this nigga took a step back, bitch. <laughs> this nigga took a step back. He was like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. I said, okay. And I just pumped it. Bitch, I just pumped it and just walked my cute ass on down the street. Bitch, but it just... um, You said you don't care if they got a girlfriend or not. He, this man did not know I was trans. This little boy did not know I was trans. He was gagged. Bitch, he thought I was just chocolate fish. Bitch, he did, he did not know that I was trans. And I was just like, okay, bitch. It's, bitch, when you, when you start getting passable, that's when it starts getting scary, bitch. Because it's just like, he was shook. He did. And it's like, y'all, I, I just, you know, as a trans woman, sometimes you just think it's so obvious. Like, but to him, it really just, it, it wasn't, apparently. Like, he just, he had no idea. And I feel like, if he did know, you know how some niggas just play around. Just, they just be like, oh, no, I, I ain't know, but they really fucking knew. But they just want to make you feel good. I feel like if he did know, he would have took down my number anyway, but he didn't. So I was just like, oh, bitch, he didn't know. He didn't, because if he knew, he would have he would have still got that number. But, bitch, I was just like, 
But afterwards, you know what I'm saying? I didn't I wasn't walking away. I wasn't walking away. You know, like a like like a loser or like a dog hiding my motherfucking tail behind my between my legs, bitch. I was just like I felt good as hell, bitch, because I was just like, you know what? I wasn't afraid to let to let these niggas know my tea right then and there in front of their face. Um, either you're gonna accept me for me or you're not. And I would rather. What's what's the point? What's the and and sometimes I want to see how their reaction is right then, right then and there in front of their motherfucking face. Sometimes I want to see how they're gonna react, what they're what they're gonna say. It's better to, no shade, that's how some bitches be getting killed, bitch. You wait till you go home and you text them. And they be like, oh, yeah, I'm cool with it. Then they come over and strangle your ass, bitch. That's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to tell my tea right, right then and there, right right now. Just to, just to see his face. Just to see how, you know what I'm saying? Just to see his reaction. And, girl, he was not featuring me. So I was just like... It is what it is, bitch. If you can let you if you can let all this find that if you can let all this find this bitch bitches walk away from you, then you're not the man for me. They're unpredictable and dangerously, honestly. True. But honestly, y'all, this boy was so motherfucking skinny and lanky. I could have just threw his ass across the street, bitch, if I wanted. So girl, I knew who I know who who and who not to try it with. But he was feeling it for a moment. There was at least a feature. So, girl, pay. I'm still getting panty. We super late. Okay. Um. So, but what that showed me is what that shows me is you're you're attracted. You see a woman. You, you see a woman. It is possible for a man to be attracted to a trans woman because she has the visual of a woman. It, it's possible. It's, I, I can't stand niggas that be like, oh, I, I will never find a trans person attractive. I will never find a trans woman attractive. Bitch, you did that night. So all these people out here that be calling trans woman man, saying a trans woman's a man... Okay, but that's not what these niggas are seeing. Because obviously, if I was a man to him, he wouldn't have said shit to me at all. Or he wouldn't have been trying to get my number. So, people can say what the fuck they want to say. I love sticking skinny trade up, up my case. Girl. But sometimes they would try. Girl, most of the time, I don't. Now, this is the, sec I, this is the second time I did this. Because I did this again in Walmart. When I was in Walmart, um, this nigga came up to me and I was like, um, you know I'm trans? And I was like, do you still want my number? And he was like, yeah. Girl, that nigga never texted me. I was like, girl, Leah, these niggas are not, they don't, they are not knowing. And people just think that being passable is just so much better and easier. It's not. No, this security was at CBS. I think he would eat a slip back point I think I would too. Bitch. I think I would too. Just give you a hug mug. They can't deny the initial attraction. Exactly. Exactly. Because you know at the end of that bitch, you see you saw a girl. You saw a girl. You did. Or else you would have never you would have not asked me for my number. You know what you saw and you liked it. So it's just like I don't understand. I don't understand. These niggas, I don't understand. Girl, you going after the store clerks next. Girl, fuck all the moles. Leah, I stay getting features like Nick Minaj in her early career. Y'all, men are weird to me. Men are super weird to me, y'all. And it just... I was supposed to be going on a date tonight. And bitch, now I'm probably not even going to the ball, so... It's... Bitch, damn if you do, damn if you fucking... 
Okay, so you're you're too passable to the point where guys that identify as straight don't even know that you're trans. But then to the guys that's actually interested in you and they're scared to take you out, they're worried about if you're going to get clocked or not. So it's just like, girl, I don't fucking get it. How was your New Year's? My New Year's was horrible, bitch. Because I don't know, if y'all watched my last live, I got into it. I almost got into a physical fight with my brother, my blood brother. So it was not that cute, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that part, I don't, I don't, I don't get that part. Bitch, you're either too passable or you're not passable enough to the point where men are still afraid or they feel like they're scared that you might get clocked while they out in public. But I want to be, I want to be with the nigga that it, it doesn't matter. If you get clocked, oh, oh well. Bitch, at this point, I think I'll be dating myself for some time, bitch. I'm just going to date myself. I'm going to focus on me. And that's just going to be that. It sucks to... It sucks when you're, when you're beautiful. When you have girlfriend qualities. Bitch, and you just... Girl, I'm over it. Exactly, the single life got to be our new normal. And I'm just so tired. I'm so tired of niggas trying to, like, okay. It's a, it was this guy that I'm just, it's just the hookup. That's it. Nothing more. The other day, he going to he gonna text me, oh, who you been giving my dick away to? Bitch, I'm not your girlfriend. Like, why? I, I keep having men that are trying to keep tabs on me, bitch. Like I have, I have, I have men literally like, oh, who, what are you doing? Who, who are you with? Why, bitch? I'm not your, I'm not your girlfriend, bitch. Why are you trying to keep tabs on me? It's, it's men that they, they, they want the girlfriend without the label. They, they want the girlfriend without giving you the title, without giving you the title, without giving you the label. Why the, why the, why the fuck are you worried about who I'm fucking, where I'm with, who I'm with? Why? I was like, oh, don't be, don't be giving my, don't be giving my nut away. Don't be giving my dick away. Girl, having whole ass girlfriends, bitch. I'm done. Like, I'm just like, I can't with you all, literally. It sucks when you're beautiful, iconic. Okay, it's period. That's all I had to say. <laughs> That's all I had to say. It sucks when you're beautiful. Bitch, I'm just ready to be the next, like, black Kim Kardashian at this point. Like, I need my own show. Clingy or not, girl. These trade really be out here acting like bitches, literally. Girl, this man was this man was literally like, he got he he gets upset when I don't want to send him pictures. He gets upset if, girl, if I want to if I want to fuck somebody else or bust a nut with somebody else because you didn't show up in time. Like, I'm like, girl, like, you're not, you're not my nigga. Like, why, what part aren't you getting? This man literally called me, cussing me out, telling me something. Oh, I've been, I've been trying to link with you for three months now. You always act like you're busy or like you got something to do. Bitch, because I am. I'm not acting. Girl. It's just a, girl, just a, all, all my hoes, girl, just be tripping. I'm. All my hoes, bitch. We got hoes. Bitch, I'm just a pimp in these streets. I'm finna be on my Megan Thee Stallion, bitch. You're so pretty. Don't let anyone put you down. Thank you. That's why I just said, fuck this nigga tonight. They think we live our lives for them. I have to laugh. <laughs> okay, now that is a key, bitch. That is definitely a key. Girl, I'm just... I need a break. I need a break from these niggas every time. And it's like, y'all, I don't, I don't intentionally be trying to date these men 
It's like, okay, if I invite a man over, we kicking it. Um, we fucking, you know what I mean? We having a good time. They start they start to like me. They start to like my vibe. And then that's when they want to be like, oh, well, are you single? Do you have a... I don't be out here looking for this. I just be trying to keep it at... Let's just get that nut and let's just go. Like, girl, I, be, I just be trying to keep it at... Get that head, that breath, and leave. Like, with these niggas, they be trying to... They be trying to date me. Bitch, it's not my fault. I didn't... Bitch, I didn't know you was going to get here and start liking me. Girl, I didn't know that. That, that has nothing to do with me. You better than most of these women. You look like my celebrity crush, Megan Thee Stallion. I heard that before. I don't think I. I don't know if I. I don't think I get Megan Thee Stallion, or maybe I do. Shit. I would love for the trade to say, "Don't give my net away, Psst, girl." Little did she know, I'm gonna do what the fuck I wanna do anyway. That net is gonna be busted, bitch. Whether you're here or not. These men literally, I don't get, I don't get these men. Like, I have, I have trade that, like, there's trade that I have that we've been talking for, like, a few months. Or, like, there's trade that I've been knowing for, like, a year, two years. When they hit me up, they be like, oh, hey, how you doing, da, da, da. When I start talking sexual, they be acting like, oh, all you want to do is talk about sex. Um, nigga, because we're we're friends with benefits. What else do you want me to talk about? I don't. I don't get. I I be putting these men. I be getting these men in their feelings, and I don't get it. I don't. Don't want to date us, but want to control us. Make it make sense. Thank you. I don't. I don't get it. These girlfriend. These things that want the girlfriend. They want you. They want you to do things that girlfriends do. They want the girlfriend treatment, but they don't want to make you their girlfriend. Girl, have you ever been in a serious relationship? Got something from this world. Have you ever been in a serious relationship? Yes, I have. Twice. I've been in a serious relationship two times. If I was in your city, I would talk to you and get to know you as a person. You seem so cool, so outgoing, so sweet. Bro... Oh, let me let me close my mouth. Cause I, y'all, I have a. It's like I feel like, girl. I don't want to say that. Bitch, I was gonna say all niggas can go to hell at this point. I be trying. That's why I have to go to counseling, bitch. Because <laughs> I have to go to counseling. I'm I'm currently trying to find a therapist. Because I'm a little crazy and men have literally made me hate them so much. And I'm I'm trying to get out of the, out of that mindset. Like I'm I'm trying to I, I literally have to just like go to a therapist, get it out. Um, because men they will literally make you hate them to the point where you just wish death on all of them hoes. Like I'm really trying not to be that person. I'm really, really, I'm really trying. I'm really trying not to be that person. But sometimes, girl, I just want them hoes to just drop that. Except for my Judy's. Except for my Judy's. Except for my supporters and, you know, the Butch Queens. But other than that, girl, them hoes can. <laughs> Bitch.
Girl, I'm about to be the devil on your shoulder telling you to do it. Bitch. Oh. I, I find it very hard. It's very hard to be sympathetic to a man. It's, it's so hard for me. It's so hard to understand, try to understand a man's struggles. Try to help a man through his mental issues. It's very hard because it's like them same hoes will turn around and say, fuck you. Girl, my own brother, bitch, my own blood brother tried to fight me in my new apartment. Bitch, my own blood, my own blood brother tried to fight me in my living room, bitch. I couldn't believe it. Literally. I couldn't, I could not believe it. And it's like, a trans woman, or just a woman in general, will become so battered that when a good man come along in her life, like, she doesn't trust them. Like, you just think, like, I, I really think that, honestly, I really feel like most men are evil. I really, I really feel like most men are evil and they want, their, their goal is to destroy you. Their, their goal is to destroy you, to destroy your life, to make your life a miserable hell, to take away, to drain away your happiness. I really feel, I honestly, as crazy as it may sound, I really feel like most men, their goal is literally to just fucking just damage and destroy the fuck out of you. Literally. Because if they if they wanted to make you happy, they could. If that was the case, we would we would hear so many we we would hear so many more women walking around with nice things to say about men. Whether cisgender or non non um non cisgender, bitch. If that was the case, it would be so much. It, it'd be so many more women walking around with more positive, nice things to say about men. But as you notice, we're all starting to say the same shit about them hoes. I really feel like most men, their their goal is to just, bitch. They just want to wreck you, bitch. They literally just want to destroy you, bitch. And it's just like, girl. The more, the more pure and kind-hearted that you are, the worse. It's, it's literally a game to them of, like, how much they can hurt you. I really feel like a lot of men get off on that. I really, feel, I really feel like men get off on trying to hurt you. And you know what's even crazier? They know exactly what to say. They know exactly, they're trained on it. They, they know exactly what you want to hear. They know, they know exactly what you want to hear. Oh, you're, oh, baby, you, you, you're so beautiful. I just want, I just want to, I just want to wipe you. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'm done playing games. I just want to support your dreams. Support, support anything that you do. I just want to love you. I just want one woman in my life. I just want to take you out. I just want to show you to the world. I just want to make you feel special, baby girl. Girl, I done heard it all at this point. Mm. Bitch, I done, bitch, I done heard it all at this point. I done heard it all at this point. Bitch. Bitch, you could have been. Bitch. He could have been. Bitch, you could have been. You could have been clapping these cheeks every fucking night. Bitch. Niggas are just so dumb and so stupid. Bitch, he, he could have been clapping these cheeks every motherfucking night, bitch. But because, because you want to be dumb and you want to be DL and care about what everybody, has to, what everybody has to say about you, fuck you. Bitch.
bitch, you could, you could be you could be sleeping on the side of the road, bitch, and I'll just ride the fuck past, bitch. Girl, fuck. I'm at I'm at a I'm at a point. I'm just like, girl, fuck all them hoes, literally. Fuck them. Bitch, you 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 could have had a bitch cooking for you, girl, giving you massages from your from your head down to your toes, bitch, sucking that dick whenever you want, all those things. But it's it's like because men don't want to do right, they don't deserve those type of benefits. They don't deserve those things because you don't know how to treat a woman. You don't like. I'm just at a point. Where I'm just like, girl, what's the point of just being this such as like. Men don't deserve, they don't deserve submissiveness and all those, bitch, I, there is no such thing, bitch. I can't be submissive to a man. Because the men that I'm meeting, girl, they don't, they just don't deserve it. They don't, they don't deserve husband treatment, boyfriend treatment. They don't deserve that. I can't. It's like, bitch, I I want to be I want to be submissive to a man. I want to, you know, bitch, you, you need me to suck that dick before you go out. Okay, bitch, I'm the type of bitch. We could be out at the restaurant. Um, yeah, I need I need to see you. In the, I need to see you in the bathroom real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have something. I have something I need to talk to you about. Meet me in the bathroom. Code three, bitch. Like, okay. <laughs> code code three. Let me just let me just slurp that nut out real quick. It's like I I can I want to be just that beautiful, awesome, fun, amazing girlfriend. But it's because niggas want to do you dirty. When they be sleeping on the wrong motherfuckers, I tell you, like niggas sleep on the wrong girls. Like you sleep on the you sleep on the wrong girls. You try to play the wrong girls and end up playing yourself. Literally. You sleep on the wrong girls and end up playing yourself. And then that's why there's so many men out here that are unhappy because they married girls that they really don't want to be with or that they really don't care for. They didn't want to sneak around and cheat and carry and do all, do, do all the extra in the streets. Bitch, if you would have chose who the fuck you was originally supposed to choose from the from jump, you wouldn't have that problem. The men are very weird. They are very fucking weird. I don't, I don't get it. If you walk down the street and pass a group of men, you automatically feel uncomfortable, but they can never tell us why you feel that way. Girl, bitch is still talking about a soccer mom. I think you should see someone you are very inse insecure individual. You're a very insecure individual. Every video you post are, is depressing and about other people's ignorance and your own insecurities. Okay, bitch. Well, if that's what you think, you can get the fuck off my page and you don't have to watch me. Period, bitch. And we'll just keep we'll just keep it at that hole block okay bitch since you since you have such a problem with me bidding about my problems on my motherfucking youtube bitch you can get the fuck on um y'all put us men down i don't like that y'all think we just all bad men like that's not right at all i'm a good man and very genuine i'm not like other men i'm telling you i'm not like other people more words. I've never been in a relationship before and I'm trying to experience my first ever relationship for the first time, but it's no woman for nobody. That's not fucking true. Men run into good quality women, but they just don't want to make them their girlfriend. And then they then they want to carry around this victim mentality saying, Oh, I'm such a good I'm such a good man. And don't no woman give me the time of day and blah blah fucking blah. I'm sure you've came across some 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 fine ass bitches that were that had good qualities about them, and you just chose to play. That's how it always is. 
That's why I just I just don't feel sorry for them. I don't. I've met so I've I've met I've met not so many, but I've met a few niggas where bitch they bitch that was a damn motherfucking fool bitch for not wiping me. Literally, like I gave them absolutely no reason not to. Bitch, when I'm when I'm when I feel when I'm feeling somebody and I like somebody, bitch, I'm consistent, I'm dedicated, I'm loyal. I try to make time for them. I try not to be too clingy because don't don't nobody want a clingy ass bitch. So I try not to be too clingy. I try to be the perfect person, but it's bitch. Sometimes as a woman, like it's just not you. It's not you. Damn, men are toxic. And manipulative, period. I love weird videos. I need to see them because I'm like finally somebody that's black and LGBT is saying something because Fish and Trey will gaslight it and say this stuff. DM men are toxic and manipulative. Absolutely. That's, that's absolutely true. Which is why I'm done fucking with them. And I'm just going to focus on. I just want to be beautiful. I just want to have nice things. Um, honestly, I I want to pick a career where I don't even have to deal with niggas no more. Like that's how much, that's how sick and tired I am of them, bitch. At this point, I'm thinking about going to school, bitch. I I I want to I want to just have them just out of my life completely. Bitch, I will have me one man that I can call up or get me a few toys and just be done with them hoes. Like, literally, I just I just want to be beautiful and enjoy my transition and be unbothered. That's it. Literally, just, just be fucking gorgeous. Literally, just head to toe. Just bad bitch. The best lace fronts, the best nails, just titties just on, body adi adi. Like, girl, I just want to just, like, just be absolutely gorgeous, breathtaking, and just focus on me. Because I'm just, like, I'm at a point where I'm just, like, them hoes are late, and I'm moving on. What if that person wanted you for ulterior motives and not really into you or attracted to you? Like, what? What you gonna study in school? I'm thinking about going to school for psychology. I might go to school for psychology or I'm thinking about I am thinking about getting to acting because I have done one I did do one thing last year that's supposed to come out this year so we're gonna see I do feel like there needs to be more transgender women like on TV I feel like if LeBron Cox did it bitch I could do it so T.S. Madison T.S. Madison is getting on TV so I'm just going to focus on my career and focus on me. Um, I hate to say it, but as a trans woman, it's hard dating and having a man that truly understands and love for you. All they want to do is play games and string you along. Exactly. I feel like men... Men was my biggest downfall to my transition, and I did not know it all along until now. I did not know that men just literally just did nothing but hold me back my whole transition pretty much they fucked up my head yep bitch I've met some niggas that made me just want to kill myself Girl, like I've been in some, I've been in some very fucked up situations. I told you I was with, I was with an, an abusive narcissist before. I was with a nigga that was jealous of me. I couldn't hang around my friends. They barely wanted me to hang around my family. Girl, the girl and try to put their motherfucking hands on me. And I was just like, oh, girl, no. No, ma'am. People are literally crazy. 
The thing is, men will laugh when women talk about their experiences with men. Mm hmm. If you're on Twitter and everything. Yes. I see this all the time. I see this all the time on Twitter. Um, where men and women are just going back. Just going at, going at, going at, going at. Like, where women are saying, oh, well, niggas ain't shit. And they're narcissists. And they just want things their way. And they play games. And then men are like, oh, well, if y'all wasn't hoes and thoughts. And this and this and that, somebody will wife you. Or, oh, y'all sleep on the good men and want to date all the bad men. Or, oh, um, y'all just want to date men for money and materialistic value. And and then the cis women are, well, are just like, okay, but, but, but I understand. I think because I'm a woman or identify more as female, I kind of get more where females are coming from. Um, what women wouldn't want financial security? I mean, I'm just saying, like, what, what women want, wouldn't want financial security? Um, don't let these men break you down. That's all they want to do is break you. Most of them are narcissists. I dated a sociopath. He felt like... He felt no emotions at all. Won't ever date them again. Yeah, that's pretty bad. For that to be your first relationship, that's pretty bad. I know that definitely set the tone for the rest of your dating. Not being or trying to sound weird, but your body nice, your hair looking good, the lashes and everything looks good. Like your swag is a pretty smile for me. I see you in your swag. Once you start traveling, different places in the world, you will find a man. Maybe that is true. Bitch, I might find a man in Europe, in Paris. Who fucking knows? Maybe my man just isn't here in, in the United States. Go to hell, my, he might be in Cancun, bitch. I don't know. He might be in Narnia, bitch. He might be in Canada, bitch. I don't know. Girl, I feel bad. I I feel bad for a man that seriously wants to be with me and wife me because bitch, I am not believing shit that a man said to me no more. Absolutely not. Girl, this man's gonna have to go. Bitch, I feel sorry for my future husband. He is gonna have to go through hell and high water. Bitch, when I when I tell you. He's going to have to go through hell and high water, bitch. Because I'm going to get that man to run for his money. Probably wanted to impress his friends. It's the best place to find a man. They are rich and they love transgender women. Monaco? Okay, I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes, bitch. That'd be cute for me. Like, I can see myself with, like, an Italian man that... Got a big dick that has a lot of money. That'd be cute for me. I can definitely see that, bitch. I'll be on some Rihanna ho. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be cute. That'd be cute. At this point, I think that black men are honestly, bitch, I'm jumping shit from them hoes because black men just have nothing to offer you. Like, they, they don't. Not even a committed, faithful relationship. They have nothing to offer. So I think, girl. I love that new Jasmine Sullivan album. And I, I listened to her song like a million times. The acoustic version that she did. Sometimes you can't even tell if they like you for you. They fetishize you. Girl. Because these niggas, it's like. Behind closed doors. They just act so big and bad and they could just say anything when they're when they're in your bedroom. But then out in public, they're in a hush mouth and don't have anything to say. Girl, I was at Walmart and I was at Walmart like a few 
this is like a week ago. I was at Walmart. Um, it was this transphobic couple that was like following me and my roommate around, but girl. Anyway, um, it was these two niggas that that passed by when we was in our line when we was in line checking out our stuff, and. They was like, they was like, oh, um, it was like two, it was like two young niggas that looked like they was in their early 20s. It was, one of them was like, oh, that's a nigga, like, that's a man. And I was just, inside my, inside my head, I was just thinking, like, bitch, what was the reason? Like, like, what? So, bitch, I started popping my shit, and I was just like, okay, if any of y'all hoes have anything to say, you can come over here and say it to my motherfucking face. Of course they didn't. They looked at us, but literally that, like, that was it. Like, it was just, like, bitch, literally hush mouth after that point. So, you know, the typical case of a bitch-ass nigga, like, you know. So, I was just like, okay, because you hoes really can't take me. It's crazy that I, that I have men that are jealous of me. Like, that's, that's so weird. Like, a whole bunch of fucking weirdos. Um, it's like... They're so supportive online and on these fucking dating apps and on YouTube and shit like that. Oh, oh, I support your transition, you beautiful black queen, da 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 da, all this bullshit. But then in public, in public, them hoes want to try it. Like, I'm just like, you are, you, y'all are fucking weirdos. Y'all are really some weirdos. Y'all are some weird ass niggas. Like, who does that? Like, I'm just like, you You could have kept that to yourself, but you just had to. You just had to. And then another thing, why are you... This happened to me, this happened to me again about, like, two months ago when I was in a gas station. And I was really done up this night. Like, I had, like, a lot of makeup on because I was going to the bar. I had, like, a lot of makeup on. And I guess when you wear a lot of more makeup, you tend to get clocked more. Um... I heard this was, that's, oh, is that a nigga? I, bitch, it was, it was a whole motherfucking fish in there. It was a whole, why aren't y'all staring at her? Why are y'all staring at me? Same thing with the dudes at Walmart. All these, all these beautiful women in here. Why are you so focused on me? That's, a, that's, ooh, that's exactly why I cannot stand these fucking, down low ass faggot ass niggas that be on these apps and stuff because they really those be the ones that be in public trying to carry they really be in public trying to carry but th those be the ones that want to like they want to fuck you they want you to suck their dick they want you to do all this they be the ones that be hitting us up on our ads but in public y'all want to try to shame us and and try to embarrass us in front of other people and Make us feel uncomfortable, and it's just—it's just not cool, and it's just—it's uncalled for. I don't understand it. If you like me that much, you could have just asked for my number. It's not that serious. I'm just so tired. Oh, that's a nigga, girl. We all know that it's—it's it's, it's what you like. So cut the gig, bitch. Cut the gig at this point. We all know that niggas are what you like. Who are you trying to fool at this point? Like we we all know that niggas niggas are clearly what you like. So, bitch, it's that night, girl. I'm not gonna lie, we was getting clocked. We was getting clocked that night. It was a, it was another group of DL dudes that passed by. It was it was another group of dudes that passed by. One of them one of them was like, oh um. Oh, that's 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 a man. Da, da, da. He was like, "That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy." I'm like, "So, so, so, what's crazy? I'm trying to understand what what's crazy that you're not minding your fucking business. What's what's crazy that you're so on my dick that I can't even shop at the grocery store? Like that's you want to talk about that's crazy. I just can't." I just cannot. Usually the musty ones, okay? Girl, I'm like, it was It was a group about, like, four of them. I'm just like, out of four of them, I know at least two or three of them. At least, at least, at least two or three. 
then suck the dick, or then something. Then, then fuck the butch queen, then fuck the trans girl, then fuck their homie, then did something. So y'all want to y'all want to sit here and talk about something that's crazy. When I'm literally and bitch, I didn't I didn't even budge. Bitch, you hoes not gonna goop me, cause I know that y'all really just queens on the inside. I know I I know that y'all I know that y'all really just queens on the inside, but you're trying to take this moment to look like you're better than me, to look like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're, you're trying to take this moment to look like you're better than me. I'm so tired of damn man. It's weird as fuck to even be worried about a stranger out in public. Is that... I don't... I don't understand. I know. I don't understand why people are so bothered. Why transgender women... Why men get so shaken up around trans women... Like, like they've never seen a trans a trans in their life, or I don't get it. Why they have to make a big deal out of it? I just don't understand it. Why can't I go my motherfucking way and you just go yours, and we just keep it at that? But it's because it's because they have that attraction to you. They can't let it go, or they feel like they just have to say something to defend their sexuality. That's why. They're literally trying to inflict their own insecurities out on you. And that's what the fuck I'm not. It's, it's crazy. It's so crazy when it's just like, I just want to be a beautiful woman and just be left in peace. And I can't even go to grocery stores without niggas literally hounding the fuck out of me. They just, men literally just want to make your life a living hell. They literally do. Ew, the thought of the thought of being submissive for those kind of DL motherfuckers are disgusting. Exactly. Exactly. And then niggas be like, Oh, well, why don't you wanna why don't you wanna buy them for me? Oh, I feel like I feel like if you're trans, you should be the one getting fucked. And why don't you and why don't you wanna buy them for me? Because I'm not bottoming for a bitch ass nigga. I'm not bottoming for a nigga that's just gonna turn around and talk about me on the street. That's what the fuck is not going down. Fuck that. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving up my cakes, bitch. I'm no, no ma'am. You don't deserve it. No. I'm not gonna bottom for a man that's just gonna go out there and just call me a man on the street. Absolutely not. Yes, they're insecure about their own sexuality and their attraction to you. They get the fulfillment. Girl, it's a lot of men walking around looking like Trey, but they're really just bitch queens on the inside. I'm like, when when I'm when i niggas when I'm niggas started carrying and started calling me out my name and disrespect, I was like, oh, it's just a bitch queen. Nothing to be worried about. It's just it's it's just a bitch queen, bitch. Typical. You know them hoes love to play stunts. I'm just, I just, I just can't. There was this one nigga. There was this one couple. This one black couple. He was with his, his this ugly ass, bald head ass bitch. It was, it was, this, it was this one black couple. They was young in their early twenties, and they kept following me and my roommate around the store. Literally, when we walked past them, they would start laughing and kicking. It was this dreadhead nigga that she was with. Girl, it looked like a motherfucking gorilla bitch. Like a goddamn chimpanzee hoe. It was this one nigga she was, this one ugly ass black nigga she was with. And they just could not leave us alone. And I'm just like, so we get to the, we all, we all, at first me and my sister, we thought we was tripping. But then once we noticed that we were being followed, when we got to the line at Walmart, they happen to come in a line next to us. So, when them niggas walked past and they was like, oh, that's a nigga. And I started popping off. I was already motherfucking fired up. So, bitch. Bitch, I figured since I didn't clock them hoes, let me clock these hoes. Bitch, let me do a two for one, bitch. So, after I was done cussing them niggas out, I started. And I was like, bitch, and why you so worried about us? That's why your niggas motherfucking gay, bitch. You fucking insecure, bald-headed ass bitch. You can't even fit your motherfucking hair in the ponytail, bitch. You so you so insecure and worried about some trans 
that look better than you. Yo, yo, man is literally staring at us the whole fucking time for a reason, bitch, because he's gay. Girl, literally, bitch, after I cleared them hoes, they didn't have nothing to say. They just got quiet. Because I'm just like, out of, why, that is sad. That is sad that some fish are that, are, they're that blindsided that they can't see. Bitch, you can't see that. I've already made a video, bitch. I've already made a video, signs that your man is down low gay. Bitch, and that video has about, like, almost 80,000, 100,000 views. It was a lot of fish that were very curious. That goes to show you right there. It, it was a lot, it was a lot of fish that were very curious. Obviously, you wanted to find out or else you wouldn't have watched the video. Bitch, that exhibit A, that was an example right there. Bitch, it was right in front of her motherfucking face and she couldn't even see it. The bitch was too dumb. You, be, you too busy trying to key key and shit and you don't even see that your man, girl, there's a reason why he keeps, he's, he's so focused on us. Because any real man wouldn't give a fuck about two trainees shopping in a fucking grocery store. Bitch, he was more focused on us than her. Like, that was that was just so sad to me. I'm just like, girl, you can't, you can't, you're too blind to see, girl, that your man is gay. Or trans attractive, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The whole time I look back in the motherfucking, in the, in the, in the line, he just keep looking at us. I'm like, girl, you are so dumb. You are so, no matter how many times we have to say that it'd be the homophobic ones, it'd be the transphobic ones, they just, will, they're just going to continue to be dumb and just never get it. We be trying to tell them hoes. We be trying to warn them hoes. I would never call a trans woman a man in public, so I disrespect one rude. Them damn trade heads. And we all know tr trade is just a basically a masculine sissy. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Girl, I'm over it. It's all and we all know it's always the dread heads that got community dick. That just be passing that dick out to everybody, ho. We all know those be the main ones that be gay. All the time. They were trying to get your attention. Exactly. He knew what the fuck he was doing. He knew what he was doing. I honestly felt like the only way that he could stare at us is by talking about us to his girlfriend. I feel like that was his plan all along. Because if he did, it would have been too obvious. He literally did that purposely and intentionally just so he could follow us around and stalk us in the fucking store. That is crazy. That is so, that is so crazy to me. I'm just like, and Fish is just sitting there. She's just sitting there just eating it up, just laughing at us. You know what I'm saying? Trying to like be funny and shit. Saying her little, oh, that's a, that's some, that's a man. That's, that's some niggas that I die. Little do you know, baby, there's a reason why your man cannot keep his fucking eyes off of us. Because he really thinking about us both pounding the fuck out of his ass. Double teaming. Bitch, you know how many niggas hit me up saying, oh, do you got a friend? Do you do you got some friends? That you 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 got some fine ass training friends that do threesomes? You know how many niggas hit me up? Girl. I know you niggas. I know what you niggas are about. You can't fucking fool me. Right, you wanted to cover up, but he was more than curious. He was a bitch. I bet you he'd be the same motherfucking one. If we was on Mega Personals, bitch, he'd be hitting up our ad, trying to get a two for one. Trying to be covered up in nut, bitch. So I'm just like, girl, get the fuck out of here. I'm just so tired of these niggas. I'm so tired of these trans attracting men that be trying to play us in public, that be trying to talk about us. That's why I don't give a fuck about them. Because they never defend us. Ever. Behind closed doors. Oh, they, they love transgender women. Oh, I love trans women. Oh, I love trans women. Bitch, and not in public, you don't. You don't defend us out loud. You don't defend us in public. It's the tag team for me. Girl, you want one dick in your ass and one dick in your throat, bitch. 
that's what you really over there thinking about. You really over there thinking about getting gagged and bagged, bitch. That's what you, that's what you, you really over there fantasizing on the low. But you got to sit here and play trade and I'm so sick and tired of all this fucking, this world is just fake. It's just like, when can people just be fucking real for once? When? It's like this world is just fake of people just, just just fraudulent ass people that's just faking and pretending. Like, when can anybody ever just be real and be themselves? It's just such a fucking turn off. They would do it with us open gaze too. Oh yeah, I believe that. Cause bitch, I was once a gay. And boys used to try me. My theory is that homophobic fish actually want gay tea girls to crave trade to the extent that's when homophobic people get trade the, the mental welfare against T girls that wanted to. And honestly, bitch, them hoes be gay too. Girl, I've had um I've had biological fish. I've had biological women trying to fuck me. I've had couples hitting me up. Oh, do you do threesomes? Would you fuck a woman? Would you would you would you fuck a would you fuck a biological fish and a woman? Yes, them hoes be getting the fuck down too. So they re all them hoes really just be trying it. Bitch on a drunk night, if they find a if they find a trans that they like that's bad enough, I bet you they'll let that hoe into the bedroom. Everybody fake as fuck, and then us real ones get judged for being our damn selves. Motherfuckers allergic and hate real. Period. Period. Bitch, the real, the real motherfuckers get hated on, and that's why I don't even. You know, when I get the hate, I don't even give a fuck no more. I'd rather be hated to be real and to be who the fuck I am than what I'm not. So at this point, I just I expect it. I already know I'm gonna have haters. I already know I'm going to have people talking shit about me that I've never met a day in my life. People that have problems with me that I, I've never spoken a word to. A bunch of a bunch of fucking weirdos that just don't like me just because. Like, I already... It comes with the territory at this point. Bitch, when you're a bad bitch, you just have haters. So, I'm just like... More of the story, you know, how fake your society is. So, keeping your distance is a must. Exactly. It's all fake. It's all fake. It's crazy. It's just like, it's, it's, trans women, that's why we got that, that 2020 vision, bitch. That third eye. Because we see exactly what the fuck is going on. If it is niggas, I've talked to niggas on football teams, basketball teams, fraternities, Bitch, I've talked to niggas that told me stories about um, the football, the football team players fucking inside the um the locker rooms, sucking each other dicks in the locker rooms. I know about. I've heard all type of stories. I've seen all type of things. Bitch, you can't fool a bitch like me, okay? You can't. You you can't. You can't. You can't fool a bitch like me. I know what the fuck is going down. I know I know you hoes like the back of my fucking hand. I know about the little dirty the the little dirty snaky ass shit that you do. I know. The games that they play. I know. Everybody make sure you give this make sure you give this live a thumbs up. Stop what you're doing and give this live a thumbs up. Um but I'm just like Bitch, you, you can't oppress me, bitch. You can't oppress me. You can't bully me. Bitch, the moment I started popping my hormones. And bitch, really when I get my titties done, it's really old for you hoes. Because that's really the seal. Bitch, there's no, there's no going back from that. I've made up my mind. I know who I want to be. I know that I'm transgender. It's not changing. It's, I'm not changing shit. I'm not snatching off the uh, off no wig. I'm going to continue getting my nails done. I'm going to continue doing what the fuck I want to do. So, honestly, you hoes are just wasting your fucking breath at this point. Nothing's going to change. 
I don't care. I don't I don't I don't I don't care how much how much people want to talk about me or call me a man or any of those things. I'm just getting to the point where I I don't give a damn. Honestly, I would I would rather honestly I love it when people know. I love it when people clock me. I'm going to continue to carry on. I'm going to continue to prosper because these hoes want us to give up so bad. Bitch, and especially, especially when I get these implants on my chest. Oh, girl, it's over. There's no going back from that point. Bitch, it's transsexual for life, bitch. So I don't give a fuck about what you hoes talking about. I can see you eating the fuck up on Big O. No shade, you'll make a cute coin. Okay. I need to hop, I need to hop on Big O. I need to hop on on. I might try to get on there tonight. Why not? Bitch, I didn't got, I didn't got stood up, bitch. By a down low faggot that's too scared about what people have to say about him. That just want to sit inside and eat fucking takeout and watch Netflix. Girl. It's so, it's so funny when they clock T and get all upset. Exactly. And that's a, okay. When niggas just think that I'm a regular fish, they don't pay no attention. I mean, they do. They do pay attention to me, but when 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 they find out that you're trans, it's almost like they just become obsessed. Like they just have to just out you. Like it's just like I don't it's so weird. Them hoes are weird as fuck. And homophobic fish and trade love the nat using nature as talking point against T girls when it's literally animals that's changing their gender and that's basically transgender. Got stood up, but you can't be surprised. They don't deserve to be put in a high pedestal. True. Bitch, and after this, he ain't getting a motherfucking word out of me. I better not hear no, hey, what you doing? How you been? Oh, bitch, we don't have nothing to talk about. Hey, girl. We don't, bitch, we don't have, we don't have nothing to talk about. I don't want to hear no, hey, what you doing? How you been? Bitch, I'm doing me and I'm minding my business. I am none of your concern at this point. Bitch, you should have wiped me when you had the fucking chance. I'm moving on. So yeah, y'all, that's the tea on my dating shenanigans. Um, that's the update on my love life, of course. Always bullshit. Always niggas carrying. Another book of the DL Chronicles. Girl, I'm just like, I'm over it. Bitch, if I hear another DL anything, I'm running, bitch, the opposite way. I don't want to hear it. Um, if anybody knows how to set up Bigo or how to, how do you like, if anybody knows how to work Bigo, Hit me on my DM on Instagram. My Instagram is Lee Batty, L E E B A, two D's, one I. If anybody know, I need, I need to know how to work the currency system, like how to the roses. I don't know how much that, how much that motherfucking is. Like, how much the rose is, how much the dragon, the boxes, all this stuff. I need to know. Is, does anybody know, like, how to work it? But, yeah, it's sad, y'all. I was going to get ready for my day. I couldn't even get ready. I was going to wear a really cute outfit tonight, bitch. My outfit tonight was going to be a sickening, bitch. Because this is... It's only halfway done. I ain't even, bitch. I was going to go the fuck in. He was going to have a bad bitch on his arm tonight. He didn't even... Bitch. 
You worried about you worried about what people gotta say about you or what, what niggas gotta say about your girl. Bitch, niggas want your girl. You fucking idiot. You fucking jackass. You fucking dummy, bitch. You worried about what niggas saying about your girl. Bitch, niggas wanna fuck your girl. Come on now. Bitch, niggas, niggas wanna fuck your girl, bitch. Niggas, niggas wanna fuck your girl, bitch. You worried, about, niggas wanna fuck your girl, bitch. You worried about what a nigga gotta say about you when niggas wanna fuck your girl. You, you, you worried about what a nigga gotta say about you having a trans girlfriend when she bad as fuck. That's what you, that's what you worried about. That's, that's what, that's what you worried about. That's what you worried about. You, you worried about what a nigga gotta say about your girl when she bad, when she's fine as fuck. What what a what a what a big what a nice chocolate piece, bitch. What a big old piece. You 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 worry about what niggas gotta say about your girl when she bad as fuck. Nigga, you're dumb. You're dumb. You played yourself. Fuck you. Don't hit me up. Don't hit my motherfucking phone. I'm glad I didn't give him no pussy, bitch. I'm glad that he didn't fuck me. Girl. Cause bitch, if I would've let him fuck me, oh, we probably would have been fighting right now, bitch. I probably would've Took an Uber up to that nigga house, and girl, we would have had to, we would have had to have our one twos. But I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. I'll take my L. I'll take my L. I'll move on. I'll bounce the fuck back like I always do. I'll be a bad bitch, bitch. I can watch. I I got a big ass motherfucking flat screen back there. I can watch Netflix by myself, home. Order me some. Order me some Uber Eats. Bitch, get me some Munch and Crunch tonight. Order me some Uber Eats. Bitch, and I can, I can take myself out on a fucking date. I'm like, girl, fuck these fucking trifling ass worthless men. Girl. I don't have... Bitch, I have nothing to say. I'm going Sullivan. No man will be getting these cakes. Girl, these hoes ain't even seen nothing yet. Cause bitch, I think I'm finna get my BBL soon. These hoes ain't even these hoes ain't even seen nothing yet. Oh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You hoes ain't even seen the glow up in the prime yet. But yeah, y'all, if anybody if anybody knows how to work on um, Big O, please hit me up. Please hit me up on um my Instagram. Or if you just want to follow me, follow my Instagram, Lee Batty. You can follow me on there. That's my Instagram, Lee Batty. L-E-E-B-A, two Ds, one I. You want to follow me on my Instagram. If anybody can tell me how big it works or explain that to me. So I can get my coins. Who the fuck is this? I stay with niggas. Stay with niggas in my inbox. Stay, stay with niggas in my inbox. I stay with niggas in my inbox. Who the fuck is this? Stay with niggas in my inbox. Bitch, I'm rappers are starting to follow me, bitch. Girl. Just la just download the app, you'll learn on your own. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna download it and then go from there and see what happens.
I don't know. Okay, y'all stay tuned because if I go live again, I'm just gonna pop in and let y'all know. Hold on, let me hold on real quick. Let me try to find my my big old thing. Okay, y'all. My um my big old is Lee Batty. L E E Bad Two Ds I E. Lee Batty. So that is my that is my big O. And I'm about to go on here and see what's up. See what's the team. If y'all wanna follow me on my big O, see how we see how this big O goes. See how we do on big on big O. My my big O is Lee Batty. I'ma just go on just to just let I'm just gonna test it out real quick and just see like what's the tea? Like what happens? So, let's see. Um, so yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna um, get off here. But I just wanna go live just to talk to my YouTubers, just talk, talk to my Leah gang. So I'm finna go live on Big O. Go follow me, Lee, Lee Batty, period. <laughs>